Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss how we can use the image textures in a blender. So we're in the default layout of blender. So we have a cube, a light and a camera, which we don't want. So we will just box select all these and delete it. Now, sometimes we will need some reference images for our models, like a front view, side view or a top view. So to import images in a 3D viewport, we should go to add image, of course, and then reference. Now you can choose an image and click on import. And you can notice that the image is rotated incorrectly. That's the same thing. So to fix that, when we click on the X axis and align And then now if we add the image, click add image and reference and add an image. Now you can see that it is properly aligned with the X axis. Similarly, you can do it with the Y axis. Insert access. Also, if you want to get the front view back, you and the rear view of the model so that you can use it as a reference in the 3D viewport. Okay, now we'll see how we can import images in the shader editor to use as a texture on a model. I'll just add a Q, press shift A, add a Q. Now you can switch to the shader editor, right click on new to make a new material. If you click on principle BSDF and press control T, you can now see that we have this image texture with which we have two more nodes. This is the mapping node and the texture coordinate. So with these, we can use this map as our texture. For example, if you want to move our texture up and down or rotate it or scale it, which I'll show you in a moment, and you can also define the coordinates of texture. So if you want to take a UV coordinate of an object coordinate or a camera coordinate, so there are many options here. And if you are not able to see these nodes after pressing Control T, then just make sure that you have enabled the node Wrangler add-on. So for that, we should just go to edit and preferences and click on add-ons. Now we can search node Wrangler and just make sure that this is checked. This is a blender inbuilt add-on. So now when you press control T, you will be able to see the nodes. Now let's select an image from our file explorer. Then if we, I go to the material preview now, well, you can see that the image is available. So now if I try to scale it, let's make the value 50. You can see that the texture is tiled over 50 times all around. So you cannot use this way because you can see the seams of the texture on the model. But if you have a seamless texture, then you can use it here. That's it for this video. See you in another video. For more such videos, subscribe and stay tuned.